Ahoy, fellas! Get your food ready, because I'm going to be talking about food today. And I would hate to just make anybody needlessly hungry uh, for no reason. So, um, while we're finding these doctors, I'm going to be talking about food. Therefore, go get your food, fellas. Go do it. Trust me. Trust me. So I work at a I work at a food place, right? I uh, probably won't be working there very long, in all honesty. So these stories are going to end um, a bit after Thanksgiving time, TBH. But um, am I able to get up to that? No, I am not. That's a darn shame. Jeez. Giant monster running at you, just shoot it, or you'll be next on the menu. Yes, you will. You're gonna be next on the menu, anyways, though. Got him. Got him. Got him. That's quite the angle there. We did it, guys. So, um, the cool thing about working in a food place is that, um, Captain Hook? Razor didn't get out in time. He's stuck in here too. Oh, that'll teach him to silly dally. Don't let anyone out of there. I'm gonna do it again. Kachow. The cool thing about working at a food place is they give us free food for a meal. Isn't that nice? Um. Oh? Room's flooded with gas? That's no good. That's not cool. Well, I suppose I'll have to save your butts. But yeah, we get food. And that's great. I love eating food. So the fact that we get food is very convenient. I could have sworn I did this room already. Some part of me thinks that's the case. Um, but I suppose that might not be the case for some reason. Hey, hey, okay, well. <laughs> Let's analyze the environment, I guess. It was, did I come in the wrong way or something? <laughs> um. Batarang time. Yeah, get the heck out of here. Lol. I've just condemned that man to death, but I can't let that man die. I have to clear the room of toxin as quickly as possible. Yeah. Yeah, I know. Well, see you later. <laughs> um But see, I'm particular about what I eat. Which means okay, no, that was the kinda of the only way in. I, uh, I, I, I make special orders that, uh, challenge my, uh, I was about to say crewmates. I don't even play Among Us, and yet it continuously pervades my commentary. I apologize thoroughly for that. Um, but, Amogus, haha, silly imposter. Please. Okay. I guess I'm wrong, and I just completely don't remember this room. I see some teeth. Get the heck out of here, boyo. Break that jaw, am I right, fellas? Um. Sheesh. Well. But, yeah. I make, uh, not like silly orders. They're not even joke orders, because I actually like the things that I eat. But, there's a sandwich, right? Oh, that's good, because I just turned on the power to fan one. Um, but they, they've got one sandwich that's like particularly good. It's the chicken cordon bleu sandwich. If you don't know what a chicken cordon bleu is, it's um, pretty much... Uh, you know, I really should have a better explanation of this. It's like... It's a grilled, not a grilled chicken. I mean, I'm pretty sure it's fried, but it's probably grilled first. Um, 
I don't actually know how they fry chicken. I guess it really is just like you not butter it, but like put crumbs on it and then toss it in a deep fryer. Not the worst thing in the world. Yes, I do. Well, that's a darn shame. I would hate for that to happen. Now, I get the feeling I have, in fact, done this already. Oh, that's what they meant by Captain Hook. Wow, that's... That's kind of sad, honestly. Seriously? Like, Croc ate his hand? That's really reminiscent to Captain Hook. Sheesh. Alright, well... Hmm. Hey, pal, how you doing? I shouldn't have left intensive treatment. No, you shouldn't have. Sure that freak stayed where he belonged. Well, too bad. Uh huh. Patient's name is Edward Nixon. At this point in time, I have yet to decide if Mr. Nixon is a suitable candidate for the Titan process. I like to talk about the child. You know. Next. By all accounts, that is where your fascination with riddles began. I believe discussing those years could explain your compulsive behavior. Perhaps. My father hated me. Always called me a moron. Well, I suppose he must have been correct. So I entered a contest at school. A twenty dollar prize to the kid who could figure out an almost impossible logic problem. I won, of course. Oh. Hardly. He was convinced I had cheated. Well, that's completely unfortunate. What a sad childhood for Edward Nigma. Anyways, the chicken cordon bleu sandwich is kind of like chicken cordon bleu. It's basically got fried chicken, a piece of ham, and cheese on it, and that's some good stuff. But, you know, I try and kind of keep away from eating fried food as often as I eat. Um, or with the same frequency with which I would eat at uh, work. So I took to asking them to just use grilled chicken instead of fried chicken. And that's equally pretty dang good. Um, but, you know, I also kind of like onions. I'm a big onion fan. Um, in all honesty, the onions here are super potent. Um, actually, that's, this is kind of a side story. I have never once cried while cutting onions, right? I thought that, I thought that was legitimately a myth. Like, I kind of feel the eye irritants from cutting onions a little bit. But I had, I was ne- Okay, well, this just looks great, huh? <laughs> um, I wonder what could be happening here. But, yeah. Um... I come Don't here to where I'm living now, but, but and it's a trap. I know. I know, just not for me. <laughs> but not for. <gasps> Call an ambulance! <gasps> but not for me. <laughs> anyway. But yeah, I come here. I start cutting onions. I am like, I'm like tears streaming down my face, and I constantly. I swear, like this is actually. I don't know if the the onions are actually just super potent or if I'm like I've lost some immunity to like onion crying syndrome or something. Kachow, got him. Get the heck off me, sucker. Ow, he hit me with the TV, that's not cool. I wonder if I can do any of the cool takedowns. Probably not. Since I'm so bad at fighting in this game or something like that. Aha! I did it! Wow, that looked like it hurt. Anyways, that's everyone, right? Don't care. Anyways, I saved the good doctor here, I guess. I'm sorry. I tried to tell you. I couldn't speak. Um, Relax, you're safe now. I don't know, you kind of spoke a little bit. Thugs. But, yeah, so, onions here are pretty bad. But I still like eating them, so I still eat them. Ha 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 ha. What the heck is this? This looks like the kind of thing 
that uh, that uh, did, 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 I should uh, scan for. Ah ha 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 ha! Just below my predicted expectations. At this rate, you'll never. Hush! Oh boy, this fella. Well, you know, we'll just not worry about that right now. But anyways, <laughs> I already said I was gonna do all that at the end. I'm gonna have a lore episode. You know, Batman lore is probably thorough enough that I don't need to remember a happy patient work too hard on that, you know. Good job. Really? Well, anyways, shut up, Joker. I'm trying to talk about my sandwich. So I get onions on my sandwich too, right? And uh, one of my one of my good pals at the, the food place took to um, just completely butchering my sandwich on purpose for fun. So <laughs> they just take the the grilled chicken. And I I guess it's of note to say that the thing about grilled chicken is it's always kind of an odd shape. You never have a fully. Or I hope not. I, I don't know. We might get to a point where you have a fully disc-shaped grilled chicken breast, but <laughs> those are going to be some wacky chickens that I will not want to have in my mouth. In all honesty. Oh, great! They saw me. Got him. Ka chow. If I just beat him to death, though, but, well, not to death. I don't kill people, I'm Batman. Um. But, yeah. So, he'll take the grilled chicken and just completely mince it up, right? Into mush. And cut up the slice of ham and also mince that up into mush and like melt the cheese into the patty that he's made out of like cut up meat mush and it's honestly pretty damn good <laughs> like i'm not gonna say it's the greatest thing i have ever crap oh that's unfortunate i completely forgot that the... i completely forgot that that happened played you like a violin and cut your string okay jokes Nice one. Anyways, I'm gonna remember to not have that happen this time. You think I care? Stop your whining and listen good. If anyone goes near you without Joker's express permission, then I send order to make sure you are taken out ASAP. Looks like you're a bargaining ship. Uh well that's too bad for you. Plan like a military operation. Friends on the inside and Oh, friends on the inside, that's no good. Anyways. Kachow! I think we did it. Um, Dr. Young, I presume? Oh, -ho, an upgrade available! Never mind, Dr. Young, you're gonna have to wait. Never mind. Crap, the upgrade is available later. Well! Hey. What's How's going it going? On? Dead fish eyes, dead thing. fish eyes. Is it true the Joker escaped? But, yeah, you know, I, I took to enjoying having my sandwich absolutely butchered, because, like, the, the worst thing about it is that he would cut the sandwich when he was done with it into, like, fourths, and it was kind of hard to pick up and eat. But it still stayed together pretty well, in all honesty. Um, it's pretty good stuff. So, you know, when he's not working, I'm honestly kind of disappointed, because my sandwich is just kind of normal, you know, and that's no good. But... Uh, the medical staff are safe. Oh, I'm really? I can't open the door. Gordon. Wonderful. Hmm. Aha, uh -huh, I have to return to the Santorum. Well, how about that? Um, yeah. Let's do that then. Hey, we can go in the elevator! And once I'm over there... I suppose I'll just end the episode because, oh boy, do I not have anything else to say, really. Oh, hey, a Riddler trophy. How convenient. Doink. That was one of the easy ones. Okay, pal, I don't care. It was pretty easy, so, you know. But, yeah, some of the other co-workers have figured out how to make my, my, my wacky sandwich that I order for fun and pleasure and all that. But, um... Oh, 
Got him. Ka-chow. I just had to stun the guy. Easy. Insane asylum moment. This is how we stun the patients. What? You thought we used chemicals? <laughs> no, we just get a guy to kick him in the head. Uh... Mm-hmm. So anyways, some people have figured out how to make my sandwich, and I'm forever grateful that some people have figured out how to make my sandwich. But, not everybody can, you know. I do appreciate when other people can, because then I can eat my sandwich more often. Because I only really work two days a week, and only one of those days my friend that makes my sandwich is there. So, you know, it's a, it's a, it's a fun time, it's a fun time, but it's sure sad when he's not there, because then I don't get my good sandwich. But anyways, my freaking, what? Did you find them? Are they okay? Oh, uh, yes, they're safe Yeah, they're now. safe now. Batman. Yeah? We've got what about them? Oh? I need to get back to the mansion. Oh, my of course. Notes are there. Why are they there? This Joker getting his hands on them. Yeah, I wouldn't want that to happen either. It's a war zone. You won't stand a chance. It's my life's work. But you really don't have the authority. We got a new student manager, right? And she's a real stickler for rules, you know, a real square. I don't like it. And one of my coworkers was about to make my super cool, super good sandwich that involves chopping up a chicken breast and then find somewhere safe to hold on. Everyone else go to the observation room. Barricade yourselves in. But no, that's just not okay. Miss Student Manager decides to go to this person and say, like, Um, we don't cut the chicken. I'm like, wow, well, I just want to get my sandwich. You know what I'm saying, Ka? What do you mean, what kind of hospital is this? An insane asylum hospital. The best kind for fellers like you. Um, who do I want to take out first? Oh, decisions, decisions. I hate hospitals. Always gives me the creeps. Well, that's unfortunate, because you're going to be spending a lot of time in one after this. Ah ha 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 ha. Those guys are kind of on the same level, so I think I might as well go after the straggler here. Right? Maybe, maybe not. Okay, crap. That was a... Shit. Shit. <laughs> yeah. I disappeared, alright. Can't you see me disappearing up here? Yeah, they're gonna come after me. Anyways. That's wonderful. I'm glad I was just immediately noticed because of a complete and utter failure. Oh well. But he disappeared. Shut up. Get your eyes checked, pal. You didn't see nothing. Alright. Uh, those two are visible from each other. I wonder if I can glide kick this guy over here from here. Um, the answer? Of course. Ka chow Got him. Okay, perfect. Anyways, we're out of here. Ah, and that's how I like my criminals. Beaten. <laughs> uh, just the same way I like my eggs. Beaten. You know, anyways. Yeah. That'll be all for today. I'm gonna be using this elevator though, just so the game actually saves. Cause I'm not gonna lie, I wasn't. I don't remember where I ended off in the last episode. So. Well, that's no fun. So I don't think you'll do it. Say good night, bats. Boom! <laughs> Only kidding. Got a few more surprises in store for you. Uh, 
Prepare to face your fears. Face my fears, you say? Now that sounds relatively familiar. Hum. Interesting. What do you mean, Dr. Crane? There's no crane. Only Scarecrow? Scarecrow episode? On the next episode of Batman Arkham Asylum? Oh! Oh no! Well, you know what's in store. Till then, like, comment, and subscribe. Or... I... Will... Beat you within an inch of your life. But not quite to death, because, you know, we don't kill people here. That's just inhumane. Till then, goodbye! Yeah, I hope that one. I thought it was pretty funny.